Hey, good optometry morning. So, blepharitis from Demonex mites can be pretty pesky and hard to get rid of, and most people are treating it wrong. So in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you the ways to treat mild, moderate, and really severe Demodex blepharitis so you can get rid of it for good. So blepharitis is super common and about 50% of North Americans have it. But what most people don't know is that there's two different types. There's bacterial blepharitis and there's Demodex blepharitis. And bacterial blepharitis is pretty easy to get rid of and pretty easy to deal with. But blepharitis due to Demodex eyelash mites not so easy. But I've got a whole nother video explaining about what Demodex is right up here, so you can watch that. But let's hop right into how we treat mild forms of Demodex blepharitis. So there are three main types of products that can be used that are all over the counter that you can use to treat mild Demodex blepharitis. And if you're over 70 years old, you have a 100% chance of having Demodex. So I would recommend you consider doing one of these just as normal hygiene, but this is also good for those of you with mild Demodex blepharitis. So the first option is some form of tea tree oil. Now you've probably heard of tea tree oil, product that's used for facial cleaning, but you have to be very, very careful when you're using it around your eyes because there are a lot of different concentrations for tea tree oil. Tea tree oil will come in concentrations ranging from 2% up to 50% tea tree oil. And if you put too high of concentration on your eyelids, it's going to burn your eyes and it's going to sting like crazy. So basically any amount over 5%, I wouldn't recommend using on your eyes unless a professional is doing the treatment. Now, some people will say you can dilute it down, but why would you do that when there's a whole bunch of inexpensive over-the-counter products that are already pre-made in lower concentrations than 5%. Now, here's a bunch of different eyelid wipes that are all available, and I'm going to put an affiliate link down in the description so you can pick up any of these that you might want to. But all of these are going to work really well. Now, if you want to know how to use this, basically they're going to come as little wipes. Basically, you're going to open up the little wipe, take out the little cloth, unfold it a little bit, and then wrap it around your fingers. And what you're going to do is clean and around your lashes and your lid. And so you're gonna scrub around your lashes and your lids, you can do the area around the eye, you can do up on your eye brow and lashes there. And then you're gonna flip it over and use the other side and do the other eye, lid, and eyelashes. And that's an effective way to treat your Demodex mites. And so a lot of these formulas are leave-on formulas, so you don't have to rinse it off. Some of them are a little bit more foamy than others, but some of them you just leave them on and you're good to go. So a lot of these products will come as wipes as I showed you, but some of them also come in a pump foam where you pump out a little bit of foam and then you take that with your finger and you clean around your eyelids and eyelashes as well. Both of them work great, just a preference of what you prefer to use. Some people comment that the wipes maybe feel a little bit more harsh or a little bit more scrubby and the foam is a little bit more gentle if you have really sensitive lids and eyes. So the second type of mild Demodex cleaner is an okra based product. So okra is a vegetable and they take the extract from that vegetable and they use that to make lid wipes and that is also an effective way to treat Demodex. Now some people will say that the okra forms are a little bit less harsh than some of the tea tree oil so they get a little bit less stinging. Um, I don't find that the tea tree oil gives any sting to my eyes but some people that have really really sensitive eyes might find that. Some people comment that the okra based products are a little milder. And the third product that I'm going to talk about is something called Manuka Honey with aloe vera and coconut oil. Now, this product is not a honey. It's again made from the extract of the leaves of the Manuka Honey plant. And again, they have this cleanser that you can use to clean around your eyes. A lot of people will say that this is also a very gentle form of treating your Demodex mites. So all three of these, tea tree oil, the okra base and the manuka honey formulations are have a similar effectiveness in bringing down the count of Demodex mites as well as getting rid of the waste products and the scruff and the dandruff and things that collect around your lashes to help treat it. So now for all of these, you're going to want to treat and clean your eyelids once per day. And usually once per day should be good enough, but you need to do this for two months. That's 60 days. And the reason why you need to do that is because the life cycle of Demodex mite is up to three weeks. And so you need to do this on a consistent basis to 
get multiple generations of demodex mites that you're killing and getting rid of in order to get this demodex blepharitis really under control. So like I said, all of these products have a similar effectiveness. So if you find one burns, then go ahead and try a different one and you might find that you prefer that one. Now, when we're talking about over-the-counter products, Inevitably, people are going to suggest all sorts of crazy stuff that gonna, they're going to say, oh, this treats Demodex for you, and they're going to say everything's all natural. But these products that I just mentioned, they're all natural-based, um, even though they're packaged in a, in a nice packaging and you don't get them in a supermarket shelf. And in that video I mentioned earlier, I talk about all the treatments that definitely don't work to treat your Demodex mites. But what I'm going to mention specifically is castor oil, because... Castor oil, a lot of people say, oh, this is supernatural and it cures everything. And they say, well, this is effective against Demodex mites. And there was a very small study of about 26 people where they used castor oil to treat Demodex mites. And it did have some effectiveness to treat it. Now, I don't recommend that because these other products are just as inexpensive and just as easier to use. And they're much more effective. So I would say skip the castor oil, go straight to the tea tree oil, the manuka honey, or the okra based cleaners. All right, so next I'm gonna tell you about the treatment that you're gonna use if you have a moderate form of Demodex blepharitis. But before we do that, I wanted to say, hey, thanks so much for getting this far in the video and watching this. And I'd like to ask you a little favor. If vision is important to you and you like hearing topics like this where I make eye care simple, then please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and the like button down below because that really tells YouTube that this video is valuable and they should send it out to other people. So if you have moderate Demodex blepharitis that's not responding to some of those over-the-counter treatments, you're going to probably have to visit your eye doctor to get some other treatments. So the eye doctors can do some in-office treatments where they're going to use higher concentrations, usually of tea tree oil, and the ocular hygienist can use it safely so it doesn't end up burning or stinging your eyes. So they can do some more concentrated in-office cleaning of your lashes and your lids. So that can be effective. But the other thing that can be used are prescription product. So one product is called ivermectin. And ivermectin is a product that's used to treat skin demodex. And one form that it can be prescribed in is an oral pill where you take two pills one week apart and that can be effective in treating skin demodex. Now this treatment is not indicated for eyelid demodex but it should have some effectiveness in treating it. Now, the oral form can be a little bit expensive, but there's also a topical form in an ointment that you can use to apply it. But again, the topical ointment is a 1% ointment that you apply to your skin. And again, it's the indication is using it on your skin, on your face, and it's not indicated to be used around your eyes. But it could be used off-label by your eye doctor if they think that might be a good option that you could use. Now again, just like the wipes, you need to do this once a day for two months to get a bunch of life cycles of the Demodex under control. There are some people that have reported they get a little bit of skin irritation from the topical ointment of ivermectin. And if you're using the oral form, you have to make sure you have the right concentration based on your weight for you specifically. Now, another lesser used prescription product would be something called metronidazolol. And this is a formulation that can be used just like ivermectin, and there's an oral form as well as an ointment that form that can be used off-label like ivermectin. But if you have a severe outbreak of Demodex blepharitis that's just not able to handle in any other way, we have an option that's FDA approved specifically for Demodex blepharitis. And it's called Extemvi. And this is an eye drop that you use twice a day for six weeks. And so basically you put one drop in each eye and the studies, when they did it, they just put an eye drop in. But a lot of eye doctors are recommending that you put the eye drop in and then what you do is you kind of rub the excess in around your lashes because there's a little bit excess of that eye drop in and around and that might be a little bit more effective of a treatment. But again, you do this for six weeks and this can be very, very effective in getting really severe forms of Demodex blepharitis really under control. And then once you get it under control, you might be able to maintain it with some of the at-home options that I mentioned under the mild form of treatment for Demodex blepharitis. And if XDEMV isn't enough to treat it, then you may want to consider adding something called IPL or intense pulse light. So intense pulse light is a treatment that's been used in dermatology and aesthetics for a long time, and it's used to treat rosacea and sunspots. And But we also now use it in the eye care field to treat dry eye disease. But one of the things they found is when you use IPL in and around your eyelashes, it will kill Demodex mites. So it can be a very effective treatment to kill Demodex mites, but also 
treat your dry eye disease. So treating your Demodex blepharitis can be a great thing for anyone because it can get rid of your symptoms, but it also can be very useful for people that are going in for some type of surgery, in particular cataract surgery, because, because it can help reduce the risk of complications and reduce the amount of dry symptoms you, you're going to get. And if, and if you want to learn a little bit more about some of the things you can do to prepare for eye surgeries, then you should watch this video right here. And with that, have a great optometry day.